World War I, often referred to as the Great War, began on the 28th of July, 1914, and both sides sought a quick victory over their opponents. The Germans, worried about fighting on two major fronts against Russia and France, developed the Schlieffen Plan to attempt to swiftly knock France out of the war so they could focus on Russia. The original Schlieffen Plan, put forward in 1905, proposed using a much larger force than that used in 1914, after some changes to the plan by von Moltke, German Chief of Staff. The plan involved German armies to move through neutral Belgium, allowing them to bypass the heavy defences on the French-German border and exposing the French army's flank to potentially envelop a large portion of the French army and knock them out of the war. In August, the Battle of the Frontiers began, which saw conflict on the eastern frontier of France and the southern Belgium. The German advance was delayed by the French 5th Army and the British Expeditionary Force, positioned on the left flank of the French. The Franco-British troops were driven back by the Germans, who were able to invade northern France. French and British rearguard actions delayed the German advance, allowing the French time to transfer forces to the west to defend Paris, resulting in the First Battle of the Marne. The battle I am recreating today is a scenario from the Great War Spearhead Southern book, Miracle of the Marne, called the Battle for Soise. The Petit Morin River formed a significant obstacle to the centre of the German Second Army's advance, with heavy wooded areas leading up to the town beyond. A surprise attack enabled the Germans to cross the river from the north and attempt to capture the crucial crossroads around the town of Soise. The rules I'm using for today's battle is Great War Spearhead 2 by Short and Taylor, my go-to rules for World 1 actions. It is aimed for divisional and corps level engagements through 1914 to 1918, and can even be used for other conflicts like the Russo-Japanese War in 1904. If you'd like me to expand on this fantastic rule set, please let me know in the comments and I may do some future videos on this topic. Just to add, the board I'm using is around 5.5 feet by just under 3 feet, so I've reduced movement range and shooting ranges to fit with my table size. Here you can see the opening positions for the French force, which is made up of four regiments with nine batteries of 75mm field guns. Opposing them is a German force, also made up of four regiments with 12 batteries of field guns. The Germans remain off the table at the moment, and will enter from the northern roads following turn one. The objectives for both sides are the three built up areas with the crossroads around Soise being the main one and the general destruction of the enemy forces. In Great War Spearhead 2, orders are noted down on a map and then followed throughout the game. Here you see the French original orders laid out on the map. The most eastern regiment in the fields has an attack order to head straight for Soise, with the regiment in Villeneuve to also join the attack on turn 4 with the other two regiments holding their ground for the time being. The Germans have a single regiment pushing over the bridge to the northwest, with an attack order to pin anything through the woods or in the fields, with another two regiments crossing the river further to the northeast with attack orders to attack Soise from two different directions, with their final regiment held across the river in reserve. The battle begins with three German regiments crossing the river from the north, two of which from the northeast. Four companies of Uhlans scout along the road ahead of the main column. Both sides race to capture the crucial crossroads. To the north, the Germans continue to cross two regiments across the river. Whereas further to the west, the Germans begin to push through the forest. The French commander seeing this sends a new order to his 3rd regiment to pin this German force in place, rather than allow it to continue and hit the flank of his regiment pushing towards Soise. The French manage to capture Soise first, forcing the Uhlans back. The French begin to set up a defence around the town, as they begin to see Germans setting up for an attack to the north. First shots will ring out in the woods, as the Germans open up on the attacking French, both sides losing around a company in the opening engagement. 
French attacking wave supported by machine guns to their rear. The fighting intensifies as more and more men from both sides are thrown into the fighting. The Germans gain a slight advantage at this early stage. Combat around the crossroads begins as French and German companies wrestle for control of the town. The Germans gain the upper hand in this and force two out of the three companies defending it to the rear. To the left flank of the town, the French ambush a German regiment marching up the road, forcing them to scatter into the woods to either side. After about 30 minutes of intense fighting, the Germans have full control of the town but still have another two full battalions to the rear. On the left of the town, the Germans begin pushing the French companies from the woods. The French 4th Regiment is at this time moving up to support the town, but seeing this turn of events, the French divisional commander attempts to send an order for them to pull back, but this communication fails to get through. German batteries are now in position to support the town, and around 20 guns open up on the French infantry advancing towards the town, causing heavy losses. To the left, the other French regiment pulls back to set up a defensive line in the fields. This map shows the positions after around two and a half hours into the fighting as the Germans capture Soisy and their reserve regiment moves to the south to cut off the French retreat. The French begin to set up a defensive line on the two villages they still hold. Unseen to the French, the rest of the German division and entire regiment is pushing through the forest. But further to the northwest is not going well for the Germans as the French gain the upper hand in the forest. The German commander sends out orders for the two German regiments around Soisy to push the attack on the French line, but one of these orders is delayed meaning that one of the regiments begins to advance unsupported. Crossing over open ground, they take heavy casualties against the French machine guns and field artillery in the fields. In the woods to the north, the Germans are getting whittled down as the French have support from guns to their rear. After around 20 minutes of delays, the other German regiment joins the attack and the three German regiments push towards the two depleted French. In the fields, bloody close quarter engagements begin, as the two German battalions assault the French defenders. With odds of more than two to one, the French are forced back. But good news for the French, as the Germans in the forest and northwest are forced to retreat, and will play no further part in the battle. The German onslaught begins, as they bear down on the French line around right the village of Villeneuve. But to the north, the French commander attempts to threaten the German flank with around a battalion supported by both artillery and machine guns. The French have also got an untouched regiment in the northernmost village. After another 30 minutes of fighting, the French flanking attack crumbles as they come under fire from German infantry and German guns. This leaves a single French regiment around the village of Villeneuve in serious danger with three German regiments bearing down upon them. The French commander makes a big decision and sends an order to his untouched regiment to attempt to relieve the pressure by attacking the Germans' flank. The French flanking attack begins as they push into the fields. The French have the advantage of machine guns, but have no artillery to support this attack. The German attack continues, and the French buckle under the weight of fire. With all 12 German batteries supporting along the line, the French stand little chance of holding, as most of their artillery has been overrun. The flanking attack starts well, crippling three German companies within minutes, 
but as the German guns find their range, the flank attack loses steam and begins to crumble. The final French resistance in the village of Vilnieu is forced out, and the French, after taking heavy losses, are forced to retreat from the battlefield. The Germans are victorious, but not without cost. The German 19th Infantry Division is victorious and holds at the crossroads at Soise, forces the entire French force to retreat. Thanks for watching this solo World War 1 battle report. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope to continue doing more World War 1 scenarios. I hope to expand into some early war Eastern battles as well as the early Western Front battles. Uh, any tips or tricks or anything you'd like to see in the future, just let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.